driving me, please? decided to decorate the fallen soldiers' graves with flowers. Oh yes, Augusta. See, that's very true, but that's only half the story. Yes, we thought it important not only to honor the Confederate boys, but also the Union soldiers. It seems like only yesterday we were sitting in Miss Maddie's home, the Twelve Gables, discussing how the Yankee boys had sacrificed just as much as our soldiers had. It seemed only right to honor their graves as well, and while many Southerners were appalled by this statement, others were very supportive. Because of our boldness, we even made it into the Mississippi Hall of Fame in Jackson. It seems that Mr. Francis Miles Finch of Ithaca, New York, saw us as quite the inspiration. He was so inspired, he wrote a beautiful poem of our endeavors called The Blue and the Gray. It was even published in Atlantic Monthly in 1867. It is so very moving. Would you like to hear it before you go? By the flow of the inland river, Whence the fleets of iron have fled, where the blades of grave grass quiver, asleep are the ranks of the dead. Under the sod and the dew, awaiting the judgment day, under the one the blue, under the other the gray. In the silence of sorrowful hours, Lovingly laden with flowers, alike for the friend and the foe. Under the sod and the dew, awaiting the judgment. Under the roses of bloom, under the lilies, the gray. Sadly, but not with upbraiding, the generous deed was done. In the storms of the years that are fading, no braver battle was won. Under the sod and the dew, awaiting the judgment day. Under the blossoms, the blue, under the garlands, the gray. No more shall the war cry sever, or the winding rivers be red. They banish our anger forever, when they laurel the graves of our dead. Under the sod and the dew, awaiting the judgment day, love and tears for the blue, tears of love for the right. Our time seems to be up. We must continue our work, and we know you have things to do. But it's been such a pleasure visiting with you. Please, do come see us again soon. Mm.